Hey guys, it's Jen, and I'm here to show you the awesome, amazing Felicity Jane Something Sweet kit. This is the February 2016 kit, and it's so cute. Um, I've already unpackaged everything, so I'm going to show you the papers first. So each paper kit comes with um, a set of cuttable, uh, printable cut aparts. And so this is the cut apart sheet for this month. And it is super cute. As you can see, there's a bunch of tabs, some little labels, some hearts. This little XO you could punch out into a circle or heart. That would be cute. A little flower, more labels, some tags. Uh, lots of labels, which I love because they work well with the stamps, and I'll show you those in a minute. Um, some little, lab more little labels here, and some banner flags, so those are super cute. Love that. There's another little floral there. Um, we get a half sheet of this acetate piece, which is kind of some wonky lines, black lines, and I kind of like the half sheet because I never use a full sheet of this anyway. I like to use things like this in layers, so it's good to get a little um, taste of it. So, each kit comes with six pattern papers, and I always uh, get the add-on paper so that I can have two of each because I love every single design. So I'll show you all of the designs, and then you also get two card stocks. So this one just says love, love, love over it again. It's really cute. It's kind of like it's a script, but it's an outline, and it's a little bit distressed. It's really cute. And then the back is kind of this, it's a really pinkish red polka dot. It's a large dot, and then the branding strip has a stripe on it. So I'll leave that on that side. I'm going to move these papers off to the side so I can show them to you one at a time. So this one is an off-centered chevron, and it's got a bunch of the colors from the kit in it. You can see we've got the black, the kind of pinkish red, an aqua, um, a more deep red, a black. So really, really cute. And then the back is kind of like a disjointed chevron in black. So a bunch of arrows. This would be nice for layering and cutting apart. And then we've got a little strip with polka dots on it. Let me place these so you can see them. Okay, this one I love. This is just a white wood grain paper. Really cute. And then the other side is a stripe. And it's a tonal stripe, so this is a, like a really light aqua and then another a little bit slightly darker. And then we've got XOXO on that little branding strip there. There we go. And then the lovely floral. There's always a gorgeous floral. This is really, really pretty. Um, and it's got like the, the reddish pink to the light pink in here with some black leaves, which is cool. I really like that. And then the back is a light pink gingham. And then the strip is like a lace, a black lace trim. Really cute. The colors in this kit are so cute. And it does have a little bit of kind of a Valentine's theme to it, but it's not overtly themey, which is always good. So here we have a tiny little heart, just a black heart. So cute. And then the other side has a pink stripe. I love that. And then this, the branding strip has a little open heart with a line connecting it. And there we go. Really cute. And last but not least, we have this little XOXO paper. And the branding strip has this cute stripe on it that has all the colors of the kit in it. And then the back is the cut apart sheet. So we've got um, a bunch of 3x4 cards and one 4x6. The 4x6 has February and the little dots of heart instead. That's cute. Um, and then there's just lots of places. I like these cards because they're super simple and there's lots of places where you could add embellishment or add stamping too. Like these little banners and little boxes and stuff. So that's really, really cute. So I'll just um, place the other papers that I have. I mentioned I have two of each paper, so I'll just place them all with this so you can see them all together. Love that wood grain. And 
there we go. So those are all the papers together. You can kind of see, there we go, that's a little bit better. Really, really cute. There's lots of black and white, which I love because it's really easy to work with. And then we've got two card stocks. So we've got kind of that aqua green and a light pink. So just move these over a little bit and toss these on the end. And then we've got that black and white stripe that I mentioned before, the cut apart sheet. Now let's get to the embellishments. So there's always an alphabet. This month we get the Pink Paisley C'est La Vie uh, alphabet set, which is really cool. It's got this, let me just, I'm going to open it so I can show you one of the letters. Um, let me make sure that focuses there. So it's got, I don't know if you can tell, but the white part is kind of like a brick and then it's dipped in gold. So those are really, really cool and they will be so fun to work with with this kit. Um, we've got some Hello Love from Crate Paper little hearts. And they say, love you, you plus me, hello, XOXO, kiss me. So those are fun. They're very dimensional, um, but I think that they're they're not so dimensional I wouldn't use them in my scrapbook. Maybe if I was doing pocket pages, these would be a little bit too dimensional for that for me. Um, we get this sticker sheet from Maggie Holmes, and this is from her new collection, which is called Bloom. And um, these are clear stickers. So this is fun because you get some titling options with this, plus some icons and some phrases that are good for little embellishments. And they're black and gold, and they're clear stickers. So the ones that are the black um, will be transparent. So those are cute. Now this is really fun, um, and this made me think of Sue's Fish because she stitches on her layouts a lot. But we get this little stitching template and some thread. Let me just show you what's on there. So first of all, the thread comes on a little jump ring. This is awesome. Gina's packaging is amazing. Um, and so you'll see there's three little sticks with holes in them that you can put on the jump ring and then we've got some pink, some black, and some white thread there. And then on the little stitch guide there is an arrow, a heart, this is like a crossed arrow, um, this is a little sunburst, an X, a little chevron here, these are just a bunch of X's, um, these are some more kind of chevrons and you can see, it's kind of hard to see in the video maybe, but um, it is like etched on the actual stencil so you can see what the line where the lines are supposed to go. You can see that on the X's too and on that little um, star there. And then this one you can use just as kind of a whip stitch and then there's a straight stitch. So just really simple but a couple of fun little icons that you can stitch too. So that's really cool. And let's see, let's put that right there. And then we have the stamp set, and the stamp set is super cute. There's lots of words, a few labels, um, my thoughts, our, love, my story, so good, special, something sweet, just adorable, love, together, so much, heart. I love this stamp because I love those kinds of stamps that have like a word and then a line and then a letter. Um, I just think that's a cute look. We had one of these in the last month's stamp set, I think. Best friend, you plus me equals heart love, remember, an ampersand, the good, the bad. So you can see that this is kind of love themed, but you can use it for so much more than just, like it doesn't have to be Valentine's -y. So there's that. Now this is the this is the main kit, this is the Something Sweet kit, but Gina has this month included a bunch of different products that you can just buy separately as an add-on. So it's not a whole add-on kit, but they're items that you can add on that coordinate well with the kit. And one of those items, is a little set of three papers. So let me just, sorry for the noise. The Felicity Jane papers are all customly designed for the kit, but Gina has included three papers from other companies this month, or four I think, um, that coordinate well with the papers that she has created for the kit. So I'm gonna move 
these off to the side so you can see how these papers coordinate. So this one's from Pink Paisley and it is, I don't know what it's called, but it's got this cool like uh, triangular design on one side and then the other side's a tiny black and white polka dot. Let's see if we can get you to see that there. There we go. So it's a really cool design. And that matches really well with this. Um, this bright pink is a little bit different, but it still coordinates really nicely. We've got this called Peony from Maggie Holmes Bloom. So we've got like the bright pink and the and a lighter pink, and then the other side has this floral. So both of those coordinate really well. I'm gonna leave it on the pink side. This is also from Maggie Holmes Bloom. It's called Ribbons, which is super cute. And then the back is a pink and white bold stripe. Again, these just work really nicely together. And then this is from Pink Paisley C'est La Vie. This has kind of got like a, um, what do I want to call this? Well, you can see the pattern. But it kind of fades from light to dark, and it's also got a watercolory texture to it. So that's really pretty. And the other side is this gorgeous floral on top of wood grain. So these all match really, really well with the kit. So those are fun. So that's one of the add-ons. Um, I've got a few more, and they come in this cute little bag with this little sticker that says add-ons. So... These are also from Pink Paisley C'est La Vie, and these are those really cool cork hearts that have got some gold running through them. And these reminded me of, there is, I think it's a Japanese um, thing, <laughs> where if a, like a vase or something like that cracks or breaks, um, they can repair it with gold, and that gold vein running through that reminds you of how... Um, you can make something beautiful out of something broken and that's kind of what re this what these um, hearts reminded me of because they have those um, gold running through the veins of the the hearts and I think that's really cool so there's also those let me put these back on so you can see how all of the embellishments and stuff look like together as well so definitely check out the the little things that you can add on in the shop there's also these puffy stickers. They're also from the Pink Paisley C'est La Vie collection. And they are super fun. So we've got um, like some banners, some words, a little thought bubble, a square here, crazy, an ampersand, this floral piece. These will be really fun to work with. And last but not least, we've got this Amy Tangerine Rotary Phrase Stamp. And I love these because it has her like hand lettering on the stamps. So it says, family, friends, remember this. P.S. I love you. Thanks. Love this. That's a good story. Happy mail. You plus me equals we. Today, my favorite. And these are the days. So that'll be really fun to put in my stash of roller stamps because I love roller stamps. So since today on the um, Felicity Jane blog, so this is on the Friday um, blog post is tips and tricks day. I thought I would show you how I store my Felicity Jane kits. I get asked questions about the container that I store my kits in a lot. So I thought I would show you how I organize all of that. So I'm going to get this moved out of the way and then bring over my, my little container here and show you how I do that. Okay, so I have all of my stuff off to the side now, and this is the case that I use. This is an iris container. Let me zoom out so you can see it all the way there. Um, from Michaels. You can also get them on Amazon. I'll be sure to link to it below so that you can see that. Um, the iris container itself is just a plastic bin, but you can buy these little craft organizer trays that go along with it, and this is how I organize my kits. And these little um, dividers come out so you can rearrange things. And so um, what I'll do is in the bottom of the, the big bin part, that's where I keep my pattern paper. So you can see if you get the add-on add -on paper as well as um, the extra pattern paper uh, from the kit, you've got a lot of paper this month. So that's just going to go in the bottom as well as anything that will not fit into that little tray. So I'm also going to put these Maggie Home stickers. This is a little bit long for this, so just so I can get things out, I remember that it's Maggie Holmes, so I'm just going to cut that off, and then it fits in just fine. So I'm going to move this to the side and just bring in the tray. 
to show you how I'm going to organize the rest. So, um, I've got, let's see, let's do my die cuts first. But I, I went ahead and trimmed out that cut apart sheet. So I have all of my little die cuts here. And I usually just put them in one of the these little trays. So I'm just going to stick them in here. And I did go ahead and um, poke holes in all of the little tags just using my crocodile. And the little XOXO circle, which is somewhere in here, the little XO that I said you could punch with a circle or a square, I don't know where it is, it's somewhere in this pile, but I just punched it out with a really small circle punch. I think this is three quarters of an inch maybe, maybe half an inch, I don't know. Um, anyway, so I did the circle with that, so I'll just stick those in that container. Now I like to take my things out of the packaging because it's easier access, but what I do is because I I like to be able to tell, um, since I'm a YouTuber, I like to be able to tell people what I'm using. Um, I just staple the packaging to the back of, of the other packaging. So that way it stays together, but it's easy for me to just grab if I need it. So I'm going to put those in there. Let's see. We've got our alphabet. I'll just stick right there, I think. I'm going to go ahead, actually, you know what, I'm going to stick the alphabet right here. It's okay if things hang off the edge and poke up a little bit because there's room in the top of the iris container for that. And I'm going to take these out and I'll move this down so that I can fit those right there. And I'm going to do the same with these. staple it and stick it in there and that's just easy for me to flip through if I need it. I am going to just throw the roller date stamp in there. I'm just going to throw the little stencil in here and let's see I think I dropped my thread. I don't know what happened to the thread. I'm going to take, I always take my stamp set out of the um, pocket and then I can put it, I save that and put it back in there later just so that it's easy for me to just grab and go. Um, and I do have, oh here's the little X O that I punched out. You can see there. There we go. So yeah, that's just punched out with a circle. So anytime there's something little like that on the on the sticker sheet, you could cut it or cut it out or you can just punch it. So that's really easy. Okay, so I found my thread that I had misplaced. So I'm just going to throw that in here. And then because I have two sheets of each pattern paper, I went ahead and cut apart the card that has all of the three by four cards on it. Um, this one didn't fit in this pocket, so I just threw it in the back here. But the other ones I'm just throwing into this pocket right here. And then we don't get flare in the kit this month, but I always have extra flare. And so I just pulled I always have like one or two extra from each kit and since I've been with Felicity Jane since the beginning I have a ton. So I just pulled a few from past kits that I thought would work really well with this kit including some of the gold foiled ones because there's a lot of gold in this kit um, in the embellishments and so I just pulled some black and white, some gold, this one has a little bit of pink on it and this one has a little bit of aqua. So all of those I'm just throwing in here in case I want some flair. And that is everything. So I, after this is all filled up, what I can do is just stick it right on the top. See, here's where I have my the rest of my kit. I can just throw that right on the top. And then this is easy access for me. Anytime that I want to make a layout, I can just pull this a uh, little kit out and get to work. So that is how I organize my kits. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment below or you can leave a comment over on the Felicity Jane blog. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.